Hello, this is just a short look-see video and I'm going to later on make a longer video where I show you how I made this small, um, how should I say, flip, flip strips. <laughs> they are like um, embellishments for junk journals. Um, they are made of tea dyed uh, wallpaper. This is some leftover from our kitchen wall. <laughs> and I tea dyed it and then I added a lot of small pieces of uh, different kinds of papers. And paper snippets and scraps and leftovers and all kinds of little pieces that I have a lot. <laughs> um, there is a stamped paper strip with Maga stamp. Uh, we and on top of that there is this electric uh, text. Then when you open it. There's this number snippet and a little uh, piece over there and this this might be if I'm not mistaken this is from Tim Holtz papers. I have added this eyelet over there and it goes through to the other side where there's this my own paper um, called Tin Smith's Carriage on the back and this label my own label on top of it then more snippets from my series this was um, this was a um, let me think the right right word for it this kit or this strip is from the kit called Antique Labels and Snippets. And then I just left the back as is so that I can, uh, if I want, I can glue it on somewhere and I will not lose any <laughs> extra um, beautiful part parts here so there's that then there's this one with uh, my granny's lace tab here on the flap and um, a month from this kit um, called Avignon and when you open it there's the other side of that granny's lace tab and a number snippet. Then there is like a little pocket here and this small card made of um, Tinsmith's carriage kit. It goes over there and when you open it like that there is the other side of these flaps from the same series. That is with carriage and lace paper lace snippet there. When you open it, there's this French snippet <laughs> and this label with some nice little paper scraps on the other side. Yes, pointy finger from my stamped snippets kit and as always I left the back as is. I might attach these with paper clips or some other way but I can also opt for gluing them on, on somewhere. And one more that I have made already. I will make more of these and show you simple things but they are if you gather a lot of these 
They are very handy when you make your junk journals. So good to have a lot of these readily made and then you just choose whatever fits best for your journal that you're making. Uh, there's the steampunk themed paper underneath and just a little paper scrap and this label I think was from Nick the Booksmith some of one of her kits paper kits then when you open it there's a stamped uh, medicine bottle from Maki Stamps on a Tian Coffee Diet paper some more ledger paper from one of my paper kits <laughs> and this number uh, year 1939 is also from one of the kits as well as this one and this number I just stamped on one of the apothecary papers and add it on then there's also this Maggie stamp apothecary stamp it's a round circle stamp but I had this scrap saved so it went here and like that I will come back to this later see you soon bye bye